Hello friends, in this lesson we are going to learn about what is compound interest. In our last lessons we have learned what is interest and specifically what is simple interest. But in this lesson we are going to learn what is compound interest which is more commonly used. To revise simple interest is equal to principal into rate into time by 100, right? An interest is calculated on the principal taken in the first year. Right? So you, Sukram took a loan for 10,000, 10,000 into some rate, say 10% into time by 100, that becomes a simple interest. Say you are making a deposit for 10,000 rupees at 10% per annum for 5 years. So what will be the simple interest? PRT by 100, 10,000 into 10 into 5 by 100, which is 5000 rupees is a simple interest you are going to get after 5 years and the total amount returned will be 10,000 plus 5000 which is 15,000 5000 is interest and 10,000 is the initial value that is principal right that is what we have learned in previous lesson but pay a little attention before we understand the term compound interest why is this is called a simple interest Suppose the interest we calculate is for one year. So PRT by 100, so interest for one year would be 10,000 into 10 into 1 by 100, which is 1,000 rupees. If you calculate for five years, this is start of year one, your principal was 10,000 rupees and the interest calculated for that year was 1,000 rupees. For the second year also, the principal at the start is 10,000 rupees, hence the interest calculated remain same as 1000 rupees so for every year the principal remains the same which is 10000 which is the first value which you have taken right hence the interest for each year is same 1000 rupees you earn for first year 1000 for second year 1000 for third year fourth year and fifth year and hence for five years you earned 5000 rupees that's what we saw right prt by 100 10000 into 10 into 5 by 100 came out to be 5000 rupees but the thing to pay attention is not just the 5000 in this table versus the formula remains the same but the principal remains the same hence the interest calculated in case of simple interest is same for every year but you may be wondering can interest earned after a first year can it be added to the principal and then you calculate the interest on that right because if you are depositing the money to the bank bank can give that money to someone else and earn interest right at the start of the year your principal you gave to the bank was 10,000 rupees and interest earned was 1,000 rupees but you didn't take this 1,000 rupees back from the bank right so you can say, hey bank, can you please add this 1000 rupees to my principal when you calculate the interest for the second year? So now the second year, at the start of second year, the principal is not 10,000 rupees like in case of simple interest. Principal has become 10,000 plus 1000, which is 11,000 rupees. Now for second year, the bank is going to calculate 11,000 rupees into 10% into one year. So it's be 1100 rupees will be the interest for the second year. Third year, you add this interest. The interest for the previous year is 1100 that gets added to the principal of the previous year. The principal of the previous year, the second year was 11,000. So now for the third year, the principal plus interest becomes 11,000 plus 100 earned in the second year so now the principal for the third year becomes 12,100 rupees which is great right it's not 10,000 10,000 10,000 10,000 and that is the reason interest earned every year is not 1,000 1,000 like in case of simple interest so now for the third year at the start of the year the principal has increased to 12,100 rupees and the interest will be 12,100 into 10 percent into 1 by 100 which will be 12,010 rupees same thing for fourth year this interest is added to the principal for the third year which was 12,100 and what you earned in third year is 1,210 rupees so the principal for fourth year becomes 13,310 and on that you calculate the interest which becomes 13,310 
into 10 percent into 1 by 100 which is 1331 same thing for fifth year what did you observe here why did I break this thing in table principal at each year is not same it was not 10,000 every year and the interest earned is also not same it's increasing every year as the year becomes more the interest is becoming more because the principal is becoming more and why is principal becoming more because the previous year's interest got added at the end of the year to this principal so principal increased from 10,000 to 11,000 year in this year you earned 1100 rupees because principal increase hence principal for the third year increases hence third year interest increase hence the principal for fourth year increases hence fourth year in interest increase hence the principal for fifth year increases hence the interest for fifth year increases so the total interest is not 5000 rupees you earned 6105 rupees isn't this great so the interest is getting compounded every year it's getting increased year after year hence the total interest is more than simple interest and this type of interest is more commonly used whether you are making deposit or whether you are making taking a loan and this type of interest is called compound interest we are going to learn more about it in our next lesson till then bye bye